welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny, where today we are going to film one of my favorite all time videos to film in general, but also for you guys, and that's my current favorites, my monthly favorites. But I want you guys to go grab yourself a drink or a snack because I have a feeling this is gonna be a long one. I haven't done a favorites video in a minute, and your girl can talk. Now, the other thing I want to tell you guys is yesterday in Dallas, it was about 85 degrees. We had a totally fun, super cool pool day. Today, there is a flash flood warning. We're going to have like crazy weather until maybe Thursday. I mean, it's you walk outside and it's a curtain of water. So if you hear a lot of dripping, that's actually the weather here locally. You might not be able to hear it, hopefully you can't, but I wanna just let you know so that you don't think that my house is currently filling up with water. Although it, it might actually be 20 year old house problems. Okay, we're gonna talk about favorites and I wanna kind of have some sort of semblance of order. We have some fashion, we have a lot of beauty, we have some skincare. I'm gonna talk about some new products I will kind of glaze over some new products because I'm going to do a different video talking about the details and things like that. We're going to get into it. I want to start off probably with fashion just so that we can get the big bulky stuff out of the way. Plus, I think maybe when you see this video there might be a sale going on at DSW. Maybe. I'm not certain. Don't hold me to it. If there is, I'll list the promo code or whatever sale they're having in the description box below. I talked about a pair of these shoes on an Instagram live that I did a week or two ago and you guys were like, hey, I have some cash burning a hole in my pocket and I want to buy some shoes. What shoes should I get? Now, summer is here, you guys, and I think life is slowly going back to normal where we're doing like fun stuff, we're going out, maybe we may be visiting amusement parks, I don't know. I bought these sandals on a whim because I wanted to try the chunky sole trend and I didn't want to try something like super crazy. Have you guys seen that athletic sandal chunky sole trend? Balenciaga's doing it, Prada's doing it, but it's a little violent. <laughs> it's a little aggressive. And your girl has toothpick legs and she can't carry that much weight on her chicken legs, okay? So I saw these on DSW and they were a pretty fair price and you guys know my love for all things animal print and colorful. So this is a sandal from the brand Mia. It is all vegan leather. So it looks leather, but it's not, it's all plastic. These are pretty reasonably priced. I actually got them 20% off, but the reason that I wanted to mention them is because they are the most comfortable, look at my fingers. They are the most comfortable sandals, and this is a big statement, so wait for it. They are the most comfortable sandals I have ever worn. For me, sandals are tricky because I have thin ankles, my, my feet are really skinny, straps can be an issue, the weight of the shoe can be an issue, I have flat feet. I've gotten used to using shoes because I like them and I haven't limited myself to, I can't use those shoes, I can't use those shoes. Like, have you ever met someone that like, they have a butt for everything? Like, but, Mm, you know, no, I, I can usually make things work. I see the positive in certain, in certain things if I really want to wear them. If they hurt, obviously, I'm not gonna, but you know what I'm getting at. Anyway, the reason I wanted to mention these is because they're super trendy, they're very comfortable, so if you guys are gonna be doing water parks or amusement parks or parks with your kids or any sort of travel, these are sandals that you could actually pack in your bag and are travel friendly. You could wear them all day and they are super comfortable. I have thin feet, so thin feet and thin ankles, so I actually had to customize my strap. I don't know if you guys can tell, the last hole on the strap is right there. I had to do this additional hole just to make it tight enough for my ankles. And on the front here, these aren't skinny, uh, what's like, like skinny feet exclusive. These are wide foot friendly. So if you had wider feet, I could assume, I could see these being comfortable for you guys because let me show you. There is, it's not like, like tied around my feet. Like just screenshot this. Like when are you gonna see this again on your life? <laughs> so they aren't, actually, let me show you what they look like. Now that we're here, right? You can get a bit of visual of what we're talking about. 
So they're really cute. They're like sporty, but like cute. You could wear them, like right now I'm wearing them with jeans. You could wear them with a cute summer dress. You could wear them with shorts. They are light. They're not big and clanky. Do you guys, I mean, if you were in the early, like late 90s, early 2000s when um, Spice Girls were really popular, those shoes were heavy. These are not, and they're cute. Plus they make me look tan. <laughs> How long did it take in this video to mention? So anyway, I wanted to mention those because I know a lot of activities are around the corner for a lot of us and comfortable shoes are a must. This is what it's boiled down to. If you've been around for the last 10 years, we started talking about like push-up bras and fake lashes and now we're talking about sunscreen and comfortable shoes. The other pair of shoes that I wanna mention is from Steve Madden. They recently rebranded or changed their packaging and I really, really find it very pleasing. It's like very aesthetically pleasing, the whole like recycled paper vibe. I wanted to mention these because again, very reasonably priced and they have the vibe of a very, very luxury brand sandal that is super popular, but I refuse to pay $800 for. So I really, I, I mean, the minute I saw these, I was like, come to mama. These run true to size. These run extremely narrow. I would say these shoes are only for those of you that have thin feet. If you have wider feet, they're not gonna be your friend. They are so tight right here in the front that they barely fit me. They're very comfortable because they feel like custom-made shoes. Like shoes never fit like they were tailored to me. These actually fit that way. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna try these on very professionally for you guys. These are a size nine. They do stretch a little bit. They aren't as tight as when I initially bought them, but I'm really, I'm really, really loving this style. They're very elegant, but also very simple. So I don't care if you pair it with a t-shirt or a camisole or a really beautiful summer dress. They're gonna look good with any choice that you make this summer. So I wanted to talk about those two. I know we're getting ready for the warmer weather and as much as it would be really, really nice conceptually to go into our closet and pull out our old stuff, a lot of us like to prepare by treating ourselves with new stuff unintentionally or intentionally, so you're welcome. Moving on to underpants. I'm gonna talk about underpants on the internet. I don't wanna say the P word because I know it's vom inducing to a lot of you, like the word moist. So we are going to select the word underpants to talk about this next portion of the video. You guys know that I discontinue all the things that I love and underpants is one of them. So my favorite, okay, wait, hold on. <sighs> maybe it's a hot take for me, maybe it's a hot take for you. Depending on which team you are, you may agree or violently disagree, but I do not believe in underwear going up my butt crack. <laughs> it is not comfortable, uh, it is not flattering, hashtag team pancake butt. Uh, and I just don't, I'm not a fan. So I've never been a fan and I don't own any. So if you guys are team G-string or team thong, props to you. I don't know how you do it. Uh, maybe you have a callus in your butt crack, but for me, it is one of the most uncomfortable things on the face of the earth. So I wear hip huggers or low rise bikinis. So I wanna talk to you guys about these underpants. I'm holding them up on the internet to show you what I'm currently wearing in the shade nude. I found these on a whim from Amazon and my favorite, favorite low rise bikini lace laser cut style of underwear was from Anthropology. Anthropology just decided, hey, you know what? I don't wanna sell underpants anymore and they just got rid of them. So they left me in the wind and for almost two years I've been trying to replace those underpants and these were just a random suggestion from my recent shopping like hey do you want to see these and I'm like maybe I do this was I think a 10 pack super reasonably priced they are the same look as the anthropology ones the only difference is that the rise in the front comes up a little bit higher which I actually preferred because it completely covers my c-section scar the ones before was were right underneath my C-section scar. So it was almost like I was showing it off. Now, I don't hate it. I'm not embarrassed of it. Sometimes she peeks out when I'm wearing a bikini and I'm totally fine with it because I, you know, it's part of the show. However, these cover it up. So I thought that was kind of nice. I love the fact 
that it has this really delicate feminine touch to it, but it's also seamless. So if you wear these with leggings or if you wear these with jeans, you're not gonna see the panty line, which I can appreciate. The other difference is from these to the anthropology is that it has a, uh, what can I, like it's actually finished. So the waistline is finished but the part that hits your bottom down here is unfinished. So that's the laser cut portion. That gives you the completely seamless look on your butt part. So like if you're wearing leggings or whatever, it makes it completely seamless. It's a multi-pack and it's very reasonably priced. And I can't say 100% duped the anthropology one that was discontinued, but it is real comfortable. I'm wearing it right now. And if I knew you better, I would show you, but we're not, we're not there yet, you guys. Maybe if I start an OnlyFans. Okay, let's talk about, how about two new products? So two new products from Sol de Janeiro, their deodorant and their Bom Dia Bright Cream. So this is a sister to Boom Boom Cream. This has the Cheirosa 40 fragrance. So it smells different than the actual Boom Boom Cream that you're used to, but it smells so delicious. It smells feminine, girly, pretty, mature, summery, sexy. It's such a girly fragrance, you guys. Such a beautiful girly fragrance. The texture is the same as the other lotions. I would say it's even a little bit more emollient than the Boom Boom Cream. I feel like the Boom Boom Cream, the mica and the fragrance kind of is the star of the show. So you're not going to use that for for um, hydration, you're just gonna use it to smell good and to look amazing, right? But if you really want that deep hydration or feel good, this is probably a better route to go. And this is supposed to be a retexturizing body cream. So supposedly in a week, you're supposed to have smoother, brighter looking skin. I don't know if it's because of this lotion or because I'm tan at the moment, but I do feel like my legs are very, very soft and that is quite rare when I've had as much sun exposure as I've had. So I think that this may have had my back. I'm actually quite surprised that I love the fragrance as much as I did because when I opened it, I was like, what's that smell? What's that? I don't know why I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware that it was clearly gonna smell different. And when I smelled it, I was like, damn, that smells good. It reminds me of one of the perfumes from Dime Beauty. I just can't remember which one. I know that's not much help, but there you go. The other thing is the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio, the Cheirosa 62 Aluminum Free Deodorant. I'm gonna do a full review on it, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but it is a all natural deodorant that smells delicious and it works. So that's all we're gonna talk about. The only thing that I do wanna add is if you are someone that typically needs to reapply all natural deodorants, you will probably need to reapply with this one. I don't need to reapply with Native, which is the all natural deodorant I use every day, but if I work out, I do need to reapply Native and I also need to reapply this one. So if you are someone that with excessive sweating or fitness, tends to need to reapply, that's gonna be the case with this one as well. But if you're just kind of at home, like I work from home, I edit conference calls, pick up the kids from school, make lunches, do chores around the house, like I'm, I'm mostly here, then I don't need to reapply. However, if I go on a long walk or hike or whatever, or if I take a Pilates class, I do need to reapply or offend my neighbor. Thankfully, social distancing still is a thing, so I'm looking out for my neighbor. All right, you guys, speaking of body, I don't know, teeth. I should probably should have not just taken coffee because now I'm a terrible example. I wanna talk to you guys about teeth whitening. I mentioned in a vlog a few, probably months at this point ago that I am getting Invisalign in June. I'm doing it for a second time at almost 40 years of age and I'm not digging on age and I'm not saying that because you're a certain age you can't take care of your teeth. No, that's not the point. Just for me, I had braces when I was 15 and I had Invisalign when I was, what, 30 or 31 and I'm doing it all over again because your sister didn't take care of herself. And so I'm trying to 
I'm basically snarking at myself. So before I get Invisalign, I wanna make sure that my teeth are as white as I could possibly get them. But the Zoom whitening treatments inside a dentist's office is something that I cannot physically handle. I don't know if you can. If you can, you are a freaking superhero. My pain threshold is out of this world. Like I am superhuman when it comes to pain. I can just suck it up, not think about it. And I'm like, is that all you got? More please. Like I have an abnormal high pain threshold. However, teeth pain, gum pain, zapping pain, zoom in office whitening treatment was made up by the devil himself, y'all. So when you see the afters of that zoom treatment, you're like, oh, I can do it. I can do it and you try to psych yourself up and you're like nope it's one of the worst pains ever so i've always resorted to whitening at home however i lost my trays after i did invisalign the first time and there was just no way i could use the Philips night bright night white zoom gel that i've talked about in a video that's like five years old on my channel so i went on an amazon deep dive on whitening at home treatments and i found the opalescence go this guy comes in two or three percentages, which is the equivalent of how long you leave the trays in. The reason that I went with this method was because they come in pre-filled trays and they tell you exactly how long to use them and they actually work. If you go back to my videos, I would say from, let's say it's May, February or March, I haven't whitened. So in February or March, I haven't whitened at all. I started in April. And the, the point of this kit is it comes in a set like this. And this set comes with 10 trays. And you're supposed to do one a day. And then you're done with the treatment. And you can repeat it as often as you'd like. One box takes me probably about a month to complete. I just ordered this one. I haven't opened it. You can see it's still sealed. Initially, I got the 10% because it was the only one they had in stock. But with the 10%, you have to use the trays for about an hour. That's too long for me. Like, nobody has that kind of time. If you go with the 15%, you only have to wear them for 15 minutes. But as I was whitening, my financial planner texts me about some tax stuff. And he also asked me about light whitening and I was like for his daughter and I was like yeah I actually used to use that a few years ago and it really works and in that moment I was like why am I not doing that right now so the favorite that I want to mention is the opalescence go kits they're $75 doesn't matter what percentage you get it comes with 10 trays and you don't have to use them 10 days in a row. You can take as many breaks as you need to. I, like I said, I make one last about a month. But I ordered this little $6 light from Amazon and in one tray with this light, I got more whiteness or brightness than I did with like five previous trays. So the amount of brightness that it took me with five trays, I got with one tray and the light. It's magic. So if you guys want an effective brightening and whitening dental treatment at home that doesn't hurt, I would go with the Opalescence Go and this little five to six dollar light. So right now I have like three weeks left. I have three weeks left before I get Invisalign, so I'm really, I'm gonna go hard, you guys. Not that hard, but I'm gonna go hard, so in the next few videos, you're gonna be like, it's gonna be like Ross Geller. You know what I mean? Like, it's gonna be Ross Geller, I'm gonna be blinding you guys with how white my teeth are as I drink my second cup of coffee of the day. Me gusta el trote del macho. That's the only way I learn. <laughs> okay, I've been talking a lot about summer and hanging outside and the sun and how cool it is and all that stuff and when you enjoy spending a lot of time in the sun there are certain precautions you need to take in terms of sun care after care after sun care and so i'm going to share a few of my favorites that have been totally saving my butt i have been enjoying the sun as you can tell a ton a ton but i take really really special precautions in protecting my face because you guys, we don't have that much cellular turnover once we get older. We're not like young kids where like our skin is like shedding like 
freaking reptile. No, like that's, we don't have that benefit anymore. So we take certain precautions. The first thing is my newest favorite sunscreen, Bliss Block Star Invisible Daily Sunscreen. I found this at Target. It's a SPF 30. It is um, a 100% mineral sunscreen, so it doesn't have the chemicals in it. I'm not prejudiced when it comes to sunscreen versus mineral or chemical, but if one is a mineral and I love it, I tend to reach for that one more than the chemical one. I love this one because it has a really cool tint to it, and the texture is very moussey. It's like a moussey gel. It reminds me a lot of like the camo cream from e.l.f., or the um, CC cream from It Cosmetics. So do you see that? It also has a very unintentional blurring effect. It's not one of the claims of the sunscreen. It's not like, hey, we're a blurring sunscreen. It's not, but it does that, which I find very, very cool. And it smells good. So anyway, summer's around the corner, you guys. Sunscreen is so, so, so important. I got mine at Target. And if you can find a sunscreen with a little bit of, it's not even a tint, I would say. Like it doesn't classify as a tint because it doesn't add any, any color to the skin. I honestly think it's probably just to cover the whiteness of the mineral in the, <laughs> the sunscreen, but it totally works. And I love that added like blurring effect that it gives. So I wanted to mention that. Now, when I spend so much time in the sun, my skin gets very dehydrated. Sometimes I may even get a minor burn on my body, not my face. And so there are a few products that have totally saved my butt. When it comes to my face, and I've been in the sun all day, I'll use a visor and sunscreen, but my skin still feels dehydrated or depleted. I love to go in with the Bliss Drench and Quench. You know, Bliss has to work on their names, like for real. <laughs> Drench and Quench for Hyaluronic Acids and Amino Acids All Day Moisture Serum. If you apply this to wet skin, it's you're gonna see it's it's a very weird experience. It's like your face is drinking. It's very bizarre, but your face feels so hydrated afterwards. I actually discovered this as a promotional campaign that I did with Bliss where they wanted me to go to my local Ulta and buy it. And so I used it and I was like, this is definitely worth mentioning. So this post itself isn't sponsored. This is just me vouching that, yeah, it is in fact a really great product. Followed up with the Drench and Quench. This is from the same line. The Rich Moisture Cream All Day Moisture for Dry Skin. I don't have dry skin, but I love to use this after the serum on days where I've been outside all day and my skin feels thirsty. <laughs> Not in the bad way. When my skin feels thirsty, it is a very, let me use my other hand. It is a very lightweight gel. I mean, super, super lightweight, but when you put it on, it feels like you're giving your skin a drink of water. So it feels hydrating, it feels like a hug, it's very soothing, but it's very wet. And then all of a sudden it feels cool and it's gone. But the moisture stays. It's brilliant, actually. If I was on the marketing team for Bliss, I would totally promote this as like sun aftercare products. <laughs> Speaking of sun aftercare, I just got a replenishment of this and I wanted to make sure to include it. All I have left is what's in this little bottle, which I dumped my previous container into this for travel purposes when we go on vacation. You go to Cancun a lot, and this has always saved me. It is the Kula Radical Recovery Moisturizing Lotion. And I wanted to talk about it again because we're in like a seasonal transition and y'all are gonna be having fun in the sun. This is what the container looks like or the packaging or the bottle. It's from Cool. wait, hold on, let me, there we go, this way. None of this packaging is ever lefty friendly and I have a mild problem with that, okay? So I love this stuff. It's way better than aloe. To me, aloe, unless it's in the refrigerator, is gel, it's sticky, it doesn't soothe me. It only works when it's actually cold and you apply it cold on the skin and it's like this immediate relief but then the discomfort comes back after the coolness wears off. So it doesn't actually help me feel better for a prolonged period of time. It doesn't actually cure me from the burning sensation of a sunburn or of too much sun exposure. This, however, despite it not smelling very good, that's, you know, you can't have it all, okay? You really, you really can't have it all in this world. It doesn't smell good. 
It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good. It smells mature and herby. Yeah, it smells a little herby and medicine-y. A little like something you would rub on like your grandma's feet, you know? Um, but if you go from having a sunburn to putting it on, you're not in pain. In that moment, the pain goes away and doesn't come back. It's magic. Yeah, I should probably do like a sun video, you know, like if you're gonna be in the sun and you are cognizant of how violent the sun is, these are the products that will be your friend. You know what I mean? Like, would that be something you guys enjoy? Would it be helpful? Are you guys even going outdoors? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, let's talk about makeup. There is a bunch of makeup in this bin that I need to mention, but I'm just gonna zoom past it because you've heard me talk about it before and I don't want to harp. So, uh, concealer. If you guys have dry under eyes, exhibit A, the Tarte Ultra Creamy, violence, and the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, these two are gonna be your best friend. I would say this is for extremely dry eye and this is for just regular dry under eyes. These would be really good brother and sister to the Shape Tape. So if you want the coverage of Shape Tape, but you can't play in the sandbox of Shape Tape because it's the cool girl that wears pink on Wednesdays, then this is gonna be your go-to. And I wanted to mention it because I've talked about it a lot in recent videos, but I don't actually show it to you. So for those of you with dry under eyes that still want Supreme coverage, Ultra Creamy and the Creaseless Concealer. This one here is my go-to. Like if they never invented this one, I'd be perfectly okay with just this one. It's the one I'm wearing today. And I'm in the shade medium neutral. And then speaking of being tan, the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I love this guy and I wanted to mention it because I think it's a little overlooked right now. It's a really strong contender as a dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It also has some protection. It has a pretty good shade range. The e.l.f. website really helps you narrow down your color. It has a pump. It's pretty cool. You can find it at Target the next time you're getting milk, so it's convenient. Everything with SPF right now, you guys. Am I speaking your love language or what? Or am I getting annoying? Don't tell me that. All right. And then um, more e.l.f. stuff. I'm actually wearing this right now, the e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Core Lip Shine. These are too cute, you guys. If you get one, just get one for the cuteness and then fall in love with the product later. So these are like tinted lip balms with a hydrating core that looks like a little heart, but they give you a really nice sheen. They smell so good. And they don't give you that like white rim. You know the white rim when you talk so much and you get that little, oh, they don't give you that crustiness. But look at that. Isn't that precious? There's a little heart in the middle and that's like the hydrating part. It's all hydrating, but the outside has like the actual tint to it. The one I'm wearing right now is the more nude of the three that I have. It's called Happy. This one is very light pink and it's called Joyful. This is probably my least favorite. I reach for this one not as often because it kind of washes me out, but I'll still use it, you guys. Don't get it twisted, I'll still use it. And then the Delightful is like a darker mauve, and it's not as dark as it looks there. It just, it looks like this, just a little bit more mauve. So, love these. I wish they would go on sale. They're excluded from every time Elf has a promotion, which I think is BS. Do I angry tweet about it? Oh, no, I think about it, but but I'm not gonna. The last elf mention is the uh, black, why did I just say that? Obviously it's black, it's mascara. It's Elf Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. I'm wearing it today and I'm only wearing one coat. But the one coat is completely intentional because of another product I wanna to mention to you guys in a few seconds. And so that is one coat of it. So you could imagine if I took this further, you know, like like if I asked him to come upstairs, like if I, if I took this further, you can imagine how much more voluminous they would get. So if you want a affordable drugstore mascara that's going to go kind of like from day to night, like work mascara versus like going out to the club with your girlfriend's mascara, this one has your back. But you do have to like silicone wands. 
you do have to like prickly wands so that might be a deal breaker because I know a lot of us are very specific with our mascara wands like the really thick dense natural bristle ones I don't like those like what are you doing it's like are you just petting my lashes like because you're not you're not really you're not really earning your living right now wand so keep it moving like I'm not a fan of those I love silicone wands and if they're spiky even better so <laughs> <laughs> Where's my other mention? I put it in my pocket so I wouldn't forget. I want to talk about lash serums. Lash serums are very popular. They don't all work. They're typically pretty expensive. And a lot of people talk about only the good side of the lash serum. They don't talk about the dark side of the lash serum. You know what I mean? So I've tried three different brands already. The first one was Grande Lash, and I talked about how it made my eyes feel dirty, crusty, almost like I had a film on my actual eyes. It made my eyes red, and it made them feel very irritated. Their customer service is top notch. They saw the video. I never reached out to them. I had no plans of returning it to Ulta. I was just gonna eat the cost and toss it. And they saw my video. They direct messaged me, and they mailed me a check for the price that I paid for the lash serum. So that was wonderful. I tried another one that I literally felt like I was wasting two months of my life. It felt like I was just, you know, just kind of brushing my eye with some water. Nothing, 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 nothing. Then I started to use Revitalash, which is what you guys said is the one that's the most popular and the one that works the best. Now, Revitalash actually works. Yeah, this is, this is how long my lashes are. They're not as stumpy as they used to be. Now, in fact, when I put on mascara, I get all the little dots up here from the eyelashes kind of curling up. And I wanted, I intentionally only did one coat of mascara with this one so that you guys could see what people don't talk about when it comes to lash growth. Lash growth serums do work. You have to find the right one that fits for you. The one that actually is, there is efficacy in the formula and it doesn't change your eye color, it doesn't darken your lids or whatever. And so this one hasn't had any side effects, it's not uncomfortable, but what they don't tell you is that the growth of the lashes isn't even, so you may have like two just freakishly long lashes that just grow out on this side, and then you may have three that grow out on this side. They also don't tell you that they do grow super fast, but they don't grow like this. They grow like this. <laughs> one grows this way, the other one grows this way, the other. So it doesn't make your mascara life easier because you spend a lot of time kind of adjusting the growth of your mascara, directing them where you want them to point, and you may have some that are significantly longer than others. So you can't have it all in this beauty world, you know what I mean? You go get a lash fill and you come home and you look like lamb chop. Have you guys seen those lash extensions where you look like lamb chop? Like, that's not the vibe people are going for, or maybe it is, and maybe it's just my hot take and I don't like it, but it's either gonna be fake lashes and you have to do the glue or it's gonna be lash extensions and you run the risk of it not looking the way you want it to, you look like a lamb or a horse, or you have to go in for the fills and they're very expensive, or you can spend 100 bucks on a serum that lasts you for six months, but you're gonna have to spend that additional time kind of maneuvering your lashes. So there's no like golden egg, there's no magical answer, golden ticket or whatever when it comes to lashes. La belleza cuesta, it's, there's a reason that's a saying, you know. Yes, lash serums work, and I wanted to talk about this as a favorite because my lashes are longer, but if I don't wear mascara and I'm just having like a bare face day, I don't have bomb lashes, I have like, weird little skinny lashes pointing in other directions. The only time that it actually looks good is if I go through the trouble of doing two coats of mascara at a minimum. So that's one thing to consider. Do you just want the length? Do you wanna get a lash fill? It's, it's not all sunshine and bubbles. There's no like magic answers is what I was trying to get at. Okay, can I get off my soapbox now? Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I don't know why that was so profound, but here we are. <laughs> And the last favorite that I want to talk about are the color icon palettes from Wet n Wild. The next time you're at Walmart, grab one of each. Listen to me, you guys. Listen to your mama. I told you those verb bars were disgusting and y'all didn't listen to me and you went out and bought them and then you were like, Danny, the verb bars are disgusting. And I'm like, I told you. So listen to me right now. When you see these at Walmart, I think they're $4. 
maybe six. I could totally be wrong, but they're very, very affordable. The formula is amazing. The color range is freaking awesome. I've used all of them already. I'm pretty sure I'm missing one. I'm wearing the, ba -ba -bum, this one today. I ripped off the name. I would just, just, it's the peach one. There's only one peach one. This is what I'm wearing today. And the quality of the shadows is awesome. They're buttery, they're pigmented. There's a little bit of, of fallout, but I do the dusting of powder regardless because I'm an animal with my eyeshadows, but they are so, so good. So you have like the peachy mauves, you have the cool tone, like uh, metallic slash earth tones, you have the warm uh, neutral palette, which is super, actually this is more like a neutral, neutral palette. It's not cold, cool or, what am I doing? It's not even, it's not cool or warm. I would say it's a little bit of in the middle. And then you have the really warm gold rush colors. I used this in my last get ready with me and I was totally in love with that really dirty, dusty, musty, yucky gold. I love dirty gold colors. If you guys have been here for a while, one of my collaborations with It's Say Cosmetics was a dirty, dirty, dirty gold color. I don't know why you have to say it like this with like cuteness aggression, but it's just to like, so you feel the energy, you know? Anyway, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this favorite. I told you it was gonna be a long one. I told you, like my son says, I told you. I told you it was gonna be a long one. Like any and all my videos, I will make sure to list and link all of the products that I mentioned in the description box below. If I can find any sort of promo or whatever on any of this on sale, I'll make sure to note it there as well. But anything and everything that you saw, what I'm wearing, my jewelry, all of that stuff is always linked in the description box below. Big favor to ask if you had a good time, if I made you laugh, if you found a new favorite, please make sure to hit that like, share, or subscribe button, or all three, or do whatever. Live your best life. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm kind of asking you to support my channel because we're all friends here. Is that okay? I've, look, I've gone to therapy enough to know that it's okay to ask for help. I'm asking you for your help right now. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys! <laughs>